talk about the obvious tension that's radiating off of you right now? I don't know what you're going on about, Diana. I'm just trying to find an offer for tonight. <sighs> so, you're not the least bit tense after finding out Selena is Henry's ex? I know if I randomly met Lucas's ex, I would feel a little tense. No, well, a, a little bit. But I, I don't have any right to feel like this. We aren't officially in a relationship, really. So I don't have a reason to be like this. <sighs> Besides, Selena seems like a cool person, and I liked her before I found out she was his ex. That's the mature side of looking at it. <laughs> Let's change the subject. So, do you think Wes is actually going to find someone tonight? If he does, I'll pay you $20. At most, he might make out with some unfortunate girl or boy. I don't know what he's into. I think Wes just likes people in general, so he has a lot of options. <sighs> Let's just hope we don't have to witness him trying to flirt tonight. I don't feel like cringing so hard my face cramps up. <laughs> I second that. Should I wear this outfit or... Definitely that one! It shows just enough skin to stand out, but not look like you're trying too much. And it just so happens to be Henry's favorite colors! <laughs> <sighs> I swear you should have been a Cupid instead of a witch. You know, I've always thought that too. I mean, could you imagine me with cute little wings and hearts? So, Henry, are you going to explain? Explain? What do I have to explain? <laughs> you don't know. Oh, maybe the fact that your ex-girlfriend Selena was hanging out with Marina and Diana this morning. Oh, that. Well, what about it? You both know she lives in town. We would have ran into her at some point in the vacation. <sighs> It's not that, Henry. Here, let me spell it out for you. Your ex was talking to the girl that you want to be your new girl. And you don't think that causes for a little alarm? I might not be the one to talk about long-term relationships, but if I remember, you and Selena were really serious. You even introduced her to the family. Oh, and not to mention, right before you broke up with her, you started the process to have her accepted as your black swan. That was years ago. I didn't know what I was doing. We were both in high school and just going through the motions of life. And not really thinking about anything but a relationship. You still don't see the problem with that, do you? I can't believe I'm actually the smart one in the group for once. <sighs> Selena knows a lot more than Marina does about you. If Selena were to say something to Marina about you that she doesn't know, that could be the final nail in the coffin for anything to happen in the future. I think we should just let it play out, Wes. I mean, look at the positives. If Marina finds something out about Henry that he didn't tell her himself, well, who are we to stand in the way of fate? Vernon, I know you're a jealous little prick, but do you know the repercussions of what you just said? Just look at Henry's chest! You see that? Does that look familiar to you? Because that mark signifies that he's found his mate. You seem to forget Henry works differently than you. Oh, I didn't forget that Henry is a mixed up hybrid that should have been kept at his hell-ridden mansion alone. The fact that he not only has vampire blood and hunter's blood in him, he also has demon and werewolf's blood too. How much more could you be tainted? I would stop while you're ahead, Vernon. You're already riddling my last nerve. Oh, am I? Well, how about I finish my thought from earlier, huh? It would be a miracle if Marina found out everything from Selena. You wanna know why? Because then, she could finally be my bride instead of your mutt mate. Oh, and just to drive it in further, you can't even control your powers most of the time. You'll end up killing her just like your father. Fernand, you shouldn't have said that! 
Henry, calm down, man. Marina's right next to this room. Please, take this outside if you really need to. I killed my father because he killed my mother in cold blood! Wish I could feel what I can't see Float like a butterfly, scream like a banshee Something's hiding in the pantry But I can't find it, so would you please Enchant me Give me a potion For my devotion To the emotion Did you happen to switch out the pills? Would I ever disappoint my beautiful girlfriend? <laughs> I switched out Mr. Vernon Bloodworth's pills for the ones you gave me this morning. If I was to take a guess, he's doubled over in pain as we speak. <laughs> oh, this is just perfect. Now all we need to do is find little Marina and get her alone. Hmm, maybe she hasn't come down yet? She's still upstairs. I heard Leona and the other girl Alice talk about how she's still in the room. Ugh, fine. Just keep an eye out for her, and the minute she comes down, try and get her alone. We need to get to her before anyone else does. Do we really have to do it tonight? The Lunar Games are three days away. We can wait another day or so. If I say we're doing it tonight, we're doing it tonight. Now get moving. I'm trying to distract Diana so she doesn't go and try looking for Marina. And how are you doing that? Simple. I'm flirting with Lucas. He's already so wasted. He's playing along quite beautifully. Yeah, I've been waiting to tell you how much I miss the way you turn me on. Yeah, oh, it's been playing on my mind and my emotions now for far too long. Yeah. Uh, one second, Diana. I'm almost done with my makeup. It's not D- uh, Henry, uh, sorry, I thought you were Diana. Uh, did you need something? <laughs> well, I do stay in this room as well. Do you mind if I grab my change of clothes? N no problem. I, I mean, yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> uh, come in. So, I guess the party has already started? Yeah, everybody showed up about 30 minutes ago. If I'm being honest, I didn't really need a change of clothes. I just didn't see you downstairs, so I came to check on you. Oh, yeah. I just need some time to, uh, think something over. Ah, care to let me know what's going on in that pretty little head? <sighs> I've been thinking everything over. Like, this whole magic and vampire stuff. My breakup with Carter, and then what my relationship is with you. It's just a little much and I'm having a hard time coming to terms with some aspects of the idea. Wow, that is a lot to think over. D do you want to skip out on the party tonight? No, I think having fun at the party will actually help my brain a bit. <laughs> okay. Finish my makeup. How do I look? <laughs> Pretty as always. Now, I think if we spend any more time in here, Diana will get the wrong idea and beat me up. <sighs> she seemed to be really tense when I talked to her earlier. Oh yeah, she's been having a hard time with her relationship. <sighs> I can relate. Oh, you're in a relationship. With whom, might I ask? Oh, shut up! I didn't mean it like that. It's just... 
Ugh, never mind. Let's get going. Every time we touch your hands are colder, colder. There's no beating coming from your wooden chest. Frozen grin, a mannequin. When I get closer, I can see the strings that underneath your vest. If you can cry. Hey Marina, can I talk to you for a second? No. And didn't I make it clear you're the last person I wanted to talk to? Hey Marina, calm down. He might want to apologize. I mean, after the lecture we gave him, he probably had a change of heart. We can get drinks and dance together after, yeah? Ugh, fine. You have five minutes, Carter. I'll only need two. Follow me. It's too loud here to talk. It's been more than five minutes. Uh, it's fine. Calm down. There's no reason for her to like him anymore. I'm just going to go check on her. I'm you, 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 I'm you,